I was taking pills to stay up during the day. I was smoking weed at night just to go to sleep. Um, and I was partying with alcohol in between. In 2018, uh, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer, and that was, that really took an impact on me. Growing up knowing the word and being raised in the church, I already knew about God. So when she was diagnosed with breast cancer, it just like inflicted this resentment in my heart towards him. And it's like, God, I've literally known you my whole life and I've followed you my whole life. And now you're gonna try to like take away my mother. And I started asking the question, like, how dare you? Um, who are you to do that to me? I've just been faithful to you. So rather than walking away from God, I just ran the complete opposite direction. At 19 years old, I made my first six figure income. And with that, it enabled me to purchase any drug I wanted, just lust. Addiction to success was a huge thing for me. I wanted to be somebody, I wanted my name to mean something. Um, and I just started trying to be just the best of the best. It just wrecked me, I would say, especially with my mother. Um, I, just, I just lost all control, lost all bearings. The day that I found out she was diagnosed with breast cancer, some of my first thoughts were run away, like get away from here. I have a phobia of hospitals, so I was like, I'm not going to see her in the hospital. I don't want to see her doing chemo. I don't want to see her hairless. Like, I was just, I was just really afraid, and all I could think of was just run. I just needed to make a decision. My decision, it almost seemed like it was literally life or death. And since being raised in the church, I knew there was life in the church. And I never denied God. I never denied his existence. I denied the happiness and the comfort and the love that God provided. And since my mother was diagnosed, I didn't want any part in that. I just, I wanted the anger. I wanted the sadness. I wanted the despair. I wanted all of that because that's how I already, the day that I found out my mother was diagnosed with cancer, I basically already decided in my heart that she was, she was gone. I was taking pills to stay up during the day. I was smoking weed at night just to go to sleep. Um, and I was partying with alcohol in between. And I just remember one night, it just got too much. Um, I was just completely strung out. And I just remember looking in the mirror at myself, not recognizing myself. I was 50 pounds overweight, unhappy, unhealthy, just disappointed in who I had become. And I remember telling myself, you have two options. You can continue this life. You can keep going down the road you're going and it might lead to death, or you could get back to church and, and see what that has in store for you. But I always kept in my mind, I always said, never ever step foot in that building ever again, because the second that you do, it's a wrap. Like God's got you and you're done. Like you're gonna be his again. I re when I rededicated my life to Jesus, it wasn't just my spiritual, it was also my physical. So because of what I've done to my body, because of the drugs, because of the alcohol, the overeating, just the fast life that I was living, I realized with Jesus, I just needed to slow down. I started just to treat my body like a temple. It's overwhelming to see what God's done in my mother's life, in my personal life. Praise God, it has been, I would say three years now that she's been cancer free. I just saw that even in the midst of her hurt and her sickness, she just never lost sight of God and never stopped praying, never stopped crying out to Him. If it weren't for my mother, I might not have stepped back into the church, but of course, if it wasn't for God, then I may not have rededicated my life to Him. Don't lose hope. Don't be so angry. Um, just be still and just listen to the Lord because I think that there's so much more um, that could have been learned from, from this experience. And praise God that he did deliver me. Um, but just hold tight, cling to his word. Don't lose hope because, I mean, this could be something that could be a catalyst to change your life forever. 
and, and praise God throughout the storm because he will deliver you.